welcome back to my channel. My name is Bev, aka Bev B Diamond Paints, and if you're new here, welcome. And today in this video, we're just going to be doing a quick whip and chat. Whip stands for work in progress. So pull out whatever you're working on, clean your house, do whatever you need to do while you listen to this video. You can watch me diamond paint if you want to, if that floats your boat. And again, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. It's free. You just hit that red button on the right hand side there and you'll get notified when I upload new videos, which I do on a weekly basis. Today, I'm going to be announcing the winner from my 300 subscriber giveaway that I did last week. Yesterday was the last day to enter. I did put out some reminders. So hopefully if you did plan on entering, you were able to enter. I did pull the winner and I will have a screen recording of me randomly generating the number so that we can figure out who won. I'm really excited. Um, the winner is someone that I just got to know and it was actually from Abigail's Live. So Last Saturday, Abigail Marie, she has a diamond painting channel. I'll put the link in the description box below. She had a live to celebrate her birthday and what she did, she invited other creators and even subscribers to join her on her live. So it was really, really neat getting to see some of her, the creators and subscribers. Some creators I wasn't familiar with and some subscribers I was like, I know you, you comment on my videos too, or I've seen you around. So that was really cool to see them like on video and see their faces, hear their voices. Cause you really like YouTube when you do whip and chats or you do certain things, it's just like a one way talking, one way tool for communication and people can't really talk back to you. They have to t type back to you. So it was neat seeing people's faces and hearing their voices. I think it was really cool of Abigail to do something like this for her birthday. It's like, it's your birthday. She could have spent it any way that she wanted to, but she decided to spend it with her YouTube family or her YouTube community. And she decided to spend it basically um, supporting other YouTubers. And like Abigail's not like a huge, super famous channel or anything, but I think like most people know who she is. And I think it was really, it was really nice of her to use her clout to support other YouTubers like myself who aren't as well known. And I think it was just overall really nice just to build that community up on YouTube because we are a community. And at the end of the day, despite the drama, we're all here just for one craft. And oh, I should also mention that Ashley did a really good video on her channel, basically just talking about all the drama that's been going on and how we need to be more positive about things. I will link her video below. It's really great. She did like a little whip in chat and I think it, it made some really great points in it and it was just really nice. Ashley seems really nice. I don't really know her, but it was a good video. So I'm going to be doing, I have to say this out loud or else I'll forget, I'm doing the F symbol on my canvas. This canvas I'm actually doing, let me show you. This is my Palantine 2021 canvas. So the Uncrafty Crafter is doing a event with Mindy's Diamond Moments. And this is the canvas I'm doing for it. So it's a cat drinking coffee. And he's like a little grumpy cat. He probably hasn't had a sip of his coffee yet. Don't mess with him. I think it's turning out really well. This was just a cheap canvas that I ordered from Home Fun a long time ago. So I'm glad that I actually get a chance to do it. And oh, I have some fun unboxings that are coming up on my channel and hopefully I'll be able to put out all the videos next week. I haven't filmed them yet, but I plan on filming them over the weekend. So I do have a package from Enablers Outpost, which is a pen company, if you didn't know. So she makes these really gorgeous pens. I ordered my first pen from her. And then I also have trays that are coming that were 3d printed by a canadian maker called we have a handle on this so it should be arriving today and i also have new wax from a new wax company called or kind of new wax company called sensible by design and they're a canadian company i think they're based in ontario somewhere i'm really excited to try her wax and uh, she also has putty so that's kind of cool and so um, that arrived today as well. So I have lots of mail to open and it'll be fun. So make sure you stay tuned to my channel um, so that you can watch those videos. So let's get to the winner of the whip of the, let's get to the winner of the whip and chat. Let's get, yeah, let's get to the winner of last week's whip and chat. 
I'm going to insert the video right here of me pulling the name of the person who won. So congratulations, Grace. Thank you so much for entering my contest. It was really great meeting you at Abigail's Live, and I, I like watching your channel. I love your accent. Even though you say you don't have an accent, you do have an accent to me. Um, I probably have an accent to you. Do I sound like Canadian? Do Canadians have accents? I think so. We must have accents. I mean, yeah, we have accents. So thanks so much for entering, Grace. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate everyone's support who entered. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching my whip and chats. Thank you for watching my videos. And thank you for all your, your comments. I really do appreciate it. I don't know how many times I can say it, but like literally, I never thought that my channel would get to uh, 400 subscribers like I honestly thought I was like this is gonna take me forever to grow my audience um, and once I hit 100 I was like whoa there's a hundred people who actually want to watch me that's kind of cool and now I'm over 400 subs so thank you so much I super super duper appreciate it and I I'm just going to stop saying I appreciate it but you know how much I appreciate it I was going to start watching uh, how to get away with murder to join Jenny and Abigail in their lives so I could like take part in their lives and understand what they're talking about. So every Monday they do uh, Murderous Mondays and they do a live chat and they're watching how to get away with murder. But I don't know if I can actually get into it because right now I'm still watching. There's a show on Amazon Prime called The Mentalist. Oh my God, The Mentalist is so good. Patrick Jane is basically my husband. If you've never watched The Mentalist, I highly recommend it. I'm in season six right now and oh, it just got so good. So good. I won't spoil it for you, but Seriously, I was last night I was like so happy and I was also so sad and it was a mixed bag of emotions for me and I was just like, oh my god, this is this is a great show. So watch it if you are looking if you like mystery and like murder or police themed TV shows, The Mentalist, I highly recommend it. And Patrick Jane is really nice to look at. Just saying. Um, what else do I have to tell you guys about? Oh, I signed a new client. It is a doctor in a town that is in my province. Um, for those of you who don't know or are new here, I am a social media strategist, so I help businesses um, basically improve their social media marketing. And so I'm helping them by managing their social media. So if you didn't know, usually there's someone behind every social media account. So for example, when you're talking to a company, like let's say you're talking to a diamond painting company, you have a question or you have a recommendation, usually you're just getting a marketing person who works for that company. You're not actually getting the owner of the company, um, depending on the size of the company. And sometimes Oh, sometimes it's funny because sometimes I'll be managing a company's social media and another social media person will message the company and be like, hey, do you guys need social media management? And then I'm like, uh, excuse me, I am a social media manager and I am managing their account. So I guess the learning is that the person you're always talking to doesn't necessarily work for the company. That is one part of the aspect of of my job but also I do training I speak at conferences and I also do consulting and oh that reminds me so I was talking to Abigail earlier this week and we we're talking about fugglers like um, you if you've been following my channel for the past week or so last week I showed a fuggler and it's basically a let me just show you okay beware people if you don't like scary things maybe just skip over this next part but this is a fuggler he's so cute and they have like this weird teeth I don't know are they human teeth probably not maybe maybe they are human teeth maybe they're dentures like Ashley said um but basically we were talking about fugglers and I was like oh my god like I love fugglers and I actually was on stage two years ago two years ago and I actually showed fugglers to the entire audience and I know some of you guys hate them and you get scared of them Randy aka you can call me butter said that she had a uh 
an accident in her pants last time I showed it. Obviously, she was joking. Um, I think she was joking. Randy, did you actually pee your pants when I showed that fuggler in my last video? Just asking. Let me know in the comments below. I don't know. There's just something about them. And I'm kind of sad because I went to the Fugglers Instagram page to see what they're up to. And apparently their Instagram has been or their social media accounts have been dead for the past year. And that's so disappointing. I don't know what reason why they took a break from their Instagram. But I went ahead and tweeted the person who manages their social media and he's, he was very vague in his response and was like, oh, I wish they, were, they would come back too. But I'm like, don't you run their social media accounts? Can't you just tell me? Can't you just tell Spin Master Toys that they need to bring back their Instagram account or their social media accounts? But yeah. I really like Fugglers. They're super cute. And did you know, not sponsored, but you can also get little figurines of Fugglers. They're so adorable. And you can order Fugglers from Amazon and Target. And I think Best Buy sells them. So you're welcome for introducing you to these little cute friends. Here's another Fuggler just to leave you guys with this. Isn't it cute? He's so cute. Look at their eyes. Okay, and then there's the scary teeth again. This one only has upper teeth. But yeah, so I think I'm going to make Whip and Chats a weekly thing. I'm hoping to. I don't know what necessarily I'm going to be talking about in every week. But um, thank you so much for joining me today. That's basically just a life update. I don't know if you found that interesting or not. I'm sorry if you didn't. Well, I'm not that sorry. But I didn't announce the winner, so that's exciting. Um, stay tuned to my channel because I'm going to be doing more giveaways and stuff like that. And again, if you do want some happy mail, um, so random mail from me, I'll probably send you like a sticker or something or maybe even something cooler than that. You can go to my description below and there's a form, there's a link that says happy mail form. Just fill that out. I have nothing else to say, so I'm just going to leave it here. Thanks so much for joining me. And if you're new here, again, please consider subscribing. I upload videos videos on a weekly basis. Okay, thank you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye!